Hi, and welcome to At Home with Anita Rosner. If you follow my channel, you know that Quick Bites are little nuggets of information that every home cook should know. And we haven't done one in a long time. So today we're going to do one all about salt. Believe it or not, salt is a fascinating subject. The history of salt goes back to about 6,000 BC, and I think we trace it back to the Egyptians. The word salary comes from salt because Roman soldiers were paid in salt called salarium. I've got all kinds of little useful nuggets. But for you, what you need to know about salt is that salt is not a seasoning. I know, shocker. Salt is a food enhancer. Food enhancers are salts and acids. Your acids are your lemons, limes, grapefruit, oranges, vinegars, and there are just as many varieties of salt. Seasonings add flavors to a dish, whereas salt and other flavor enhancers, that's a clue, enhance and bring out the flavors that are already there. If you're eating something and it tastes salty, it means there's too much salt. Unless, of course, it's deliberate, such as salted caramel or salted chocolate. Now, sometimes if you're watching one of my videos, you might be thinking, whoa, lady, go easy there with the salt. Well, there's two reasons why it might look that way. First of all, the lights bounce off the salt crystals, so it always looks like more than it is. And secondly, it depends on the kind of salt that I'm using because some are saltier than others. I know, it's crazy. So let me explain the differences and I'll show you. I'm gonna start by just laying some salt out on the cutting board. Now, clearly you can see there are differences in each one of these salts. They're from different origins. Some are from the sea, some are mined from the mountains, and they taste different. This first one, has the most powdery consistency. This is what I use to prepare proteins and to add into recipes, unless the recipe calls for sea salt. That's what these two are. You can see the grains are much bigger, much coarser, and it doesn't dissolve as quickly in water. Then you've got your pink Himalayan. This is a Hawaiian red salt. Again, it's a little bit coarser. And right next to that is its neighbor, Hawaiian black salt. These two on the end are finishing salts. We never ever use these in a recipe. If it says put in a tablespoon of salt and you put in one of these, your food is gonna be so over salted it's not even funny. These are for finishing. Look how big these flakes are. When that plate of vegetables is done or that roast is finished, you sprinkle a little finishing salt on top because it gives it texture. What you're going for with these is the crunch. And now you know that salt is not just salt. It's so much more. I have a bacon flavored salt. There is truffle flavored salt. There's salt with lavender in it. There's citrus salt. Experiment. It's, it's really a great way to express yourself in the kitchen and learn about new flavors and how to do new things. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I hope you learned something. Become a subscriber. And I'll see you again right here at home with Anita Rosner.